Now it's time for some minimal pair practice. I'd like to practice some minimal pairs with you now. A minimal pair is a pair of words that differs in only one sound. Okay? So in each of these pairs, the word in the, on the left has the r sound, and the word on the right has the o sound. The words in these two columns have the sounds at the beginning of the words. The words in these two columns have the sounds in the middle of the words. And the words in these two columns have the sounds at the end of the words. Okay? And, let's see, I paired these two sounds because many people have difficulty distinguishing between those two. Okay? So, the biggest difference between them, <coughs> excuse me, is that for this one, ro, we do not let the tongue, remember, touch the top of the mouth. But for this sound, O, oh, we do. Okay? In this one, the tongue does touch the top of the mouth. So please practice saying these words with me. Please repeat them after me. Okay? Reef. Leaf. Reef. Leaf. Red. Lid. Red, lid, wrap, lap, wrap, lap, robe, lobe, robe, lobe, rhyme, lime, rhyme, lime. Okay, now for the middle column, okay, same thing. Uh, we're, we're contrasting the sounds, okay? The ro, ro, and o, okay? Arrive, alive, arrive, alive. Correct, collect. Correct, collect, brush, lush, brush, lush. When we have uh, the R right after another consonant, two consonants together, um, it's important not to put a vowel sound in there. Okay, so don't say something like ba rush. There's no uh in there. It's not ba rush, it's br. Rush, la, lush. It's not ba lush, okay? And the same thing here and elsewhere. Um, crowd, it's k, r. There's no vowel sound in there. There's no vowel sound between the G and R or between these two and these two, okay? All right. Crowd, <laughs> cloud, crowd, cloud. Grass, glass, grass, glass. All right, now the last two columns. This word, fire, it's similar to iron, where it's as if the R and the E are reversed. It's not fire, it's fire, er, fire. The same down here with wire. It's as if the R and E are reversed. Wire. Okay? All right. Fire. File. Fire. File. Over. Oval. Over. Oval. Server. Serval. Server. Servil. I think I changed my vowel sound a little bit, sorry. Wire, while, wire, while. Okay? I know some of them are kind of tricky, um, but that gives you an idea, and maybe you can go back and practice them on your own if you're having any difficulty. Okay? Um, let me just quiz you a little bit, okay? I'm going to say, some of these words. You tell me if it's 
This one or this one, okay? Or you tell yourself, okay? Leaf. That was that, okay? Red. <laughs> Which one is that one, okay? Wrap. Lime. Use this one. Okay? Let's do it here. Arrive. Okay? Correct. Lush. Cloud. Grass. Okay? And Fire, okay, that one. Wire, that one. All right, let's move on to the next section. Now I'd like to give you some words that have R and O in the same word. To continue practicing the R and the O sounds, I've put up here some words that have both of those sounds in them, okay? So please repeat these words after me just for some more practice, all right? This is early, early. This, E-A-R, is not ear, it's er. Early, I got up early. Enroll, enroll. So we have to move from the R to the L, to the R, to the O. Remember for the R, the tongue is not touching you for the mouth, but for the L it is. And roll, and roll, roll. This is girl, girl. To make this easier when the R and L are right next to each other, I know actually in the previous um, section with the minimal pairs, I told you not to add a vowel sound between two consonants, but here when R is followed by L, you can. If you want, you could add right here a little schwa sound. Kind of like an uh, okay? If it makes it easier for you. So, girl, you could kind of say girl, girl, if it makes it easier. But this is girl, girl. Large, large. So, here, this time I'm going from the L to the R. Before, it was the other way around. Here we have rarely, rarely, and we don't pronounce this E there. So, rarely, rarely. So, we're going right from the R to the L. Um, we do not here add the schwa. In girl, we can, okay? But not here. This is viral, viral. So let's do them a little again, okay? Early, enroll, girl, large, rarely, viral, okay? How about a few short sentences? Um, the girl enrolled in the class. The girl enrolled in the class. We arrived too early. We arrived too early. Did you see that viral video? Did you see that viral video? And, um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's it, okay? I rarely go there. I rarely go there. All right, that's the last one. Let's move on to the next section. Okay, it's time for some more minimal pairs with R and W. Another sound that some people confuse with the R sound is W. This is a sound made by the letter W. Um, they're made in similar ways, especially if you make this sound by bunching up the tongue, by pulling the tongue back. That makes it a little bit more similar to this also. Because to make this sound, we also, we raise the back of our tongue towards the roof of our mouth. We round our lips like this. And then we, we release that rounding and move into the following vowel. So, so these are similar. This is 
ra, ra, wa, wa. Notice when I begin this sound, wa, I make a small circle with my lips, okay? So that circle is smaller than for this sound. <laughs> it's easier with words. Let's practice these words. Please repeat them after me, okay? These are minimal pairs. Um, this one down here, though, I want to make a comment. Uh, one of the dictionaries I use has six pronunciations for this word, what, but one of those pronunciations, the one that I use, is a minimal pair for this, okay? So that's why I wanted to put it up there. It's a really common pronunciation, but there are others, all right? Um, also, a couple other comments. We do not pronounce the H in these words. And this word is wind. It's not wind, okay? They're spelled the same. This is wind, which means something like to turn, okay? That's one of the meanings, to turn something. It's a verb. It's not the noun wind, which means moving air, okay? It's wind. All right, so those, <laughs> those are the only comments so far for that. All right, let's practice saying these. Rig. Wig. Rig. Wig. Notice my lips on this one. Wig. Rage. Wage. Rage. Wage. Rind. Wind. Rind. Wind. Rim, whim, rim, whim, rut, what, rut, what. Okay? Hope that was okay. And remember, as I said, there are other pronunciations for that word. Okay, let's do these two columns. Okay? The same sounds. Um, this time, though, the sounds are in the middle of the word, kind of, right after the beginning. And I forgot to mention here, of course, the sounds are in the beginning of the word. Here, the sounds really are the second sound of each word, okay? This is, and in these, do not add a vowel sound in between the two consonants, okay? All right, this one is crack. Crack. So we're moving from a k to a r. This is also, this q makes a k sound here. Um, but this is a w sound. The letter u makes a w sound. So this is quack, quack. Crack, crack, quack. Okay? Crack, quack. Treat, tweet, treat, tweet, trine, twine, trine, twine. All right? So just some more practice for you. Let's move on. Now it's time for a short quiz. Here's a quiz for you. In this quiz, I have... Uh, let's see, six sentences, and in each sentence I have a pair of words. I'm only going to read one of these words, and I want you to listen carefully and decide which word I say, okay? And then I'll give you a few seconds, and then I'll tell you which one it was, all right? So all you have to do is listen and decide which word it is that I'm saying. The first word in each pair begins with the letter R, and the second word in each pair begins with either the letter L or the letter W, okay? Let me read these pairs of words to you so you can hear them before we do the quiz, all right? Okay, this is reef, leaf, rig, wig, robe, lobe, rage, Wage, rhyme, lime, 
Rim. Whim. All right. Let's go. I'm going to read a sentence and you listen for the word, okay? All right. It's a colorful reef. Okay. Which one? <laughs> it's this one. Okay. The rig is longer than I need. Did you get it? It was rig. Okay. The lobe is long. I was going to say it again, but okay. It was lobe. He had a horrible wage. Did you get it? It was wage. What a beautiful rhyme. Okay, which one? Rhyme. He did it on a whim. And that was whim. Okay? Now I will read these again, and I will read them with the same word, okay, that I chose last time. So with the, the underlined word, okay? All right. And maybe you'd like to repeat after I say it, okay? It's a colorful reef. It's a colorful reef. The rig is longer than I need. The rig is longer than I need. The lobe is long. The lobe is long. He had a horrible wage. He had a horrible wage. What a beautiful rhyme. What a beautiful rhyme. He did it on a whim. He did it on a whim. All right. I hope you got 100% on this quiz. And now we're going to move on to sentences. And finally, we have some sentences to practice. Okay, this is the last part of today's lesson. <laughs> Are you happy? Okay. Here I have five sentences um, with a mix of letters and sounds. I have the letter R, the letter W, and the letter L, and several of these words. I'm going to read these sentences to you. I'm going, I'm going to first read them twice at a fairly normal rate. And then after that, I'm going to read them slowly and break down and repeat many of the words. So if anybody, any one of you who is listening, if you only want to listen to the, the regular speech part, then that's fine. I'll, that's why I'm doing that part first, so that you can then stop listening, you can end the video. But I will continue for those people who want me to break down the words, okay? But if anybody does stop, before I actually get to the end of the video, I just want to remind you to please like and subscribe, okay? All right, well, let's go with these um, sentences. I will read them normally and please repeat, okay? And then I'll break them down afterwards. And this word, rhinos, that's the plural, it's a, rhino is short for rhinoceros, okay? It's a big animal, this is just the short form. Northern white rhinos are rarely seen. Northern white rhinos are rarely seen. I hardly ever carry a camera. I hardly ever carry a camera. Be sure to arrive early on Thursday. Be sure to arrive early on Thursday. The landlord raises the rent regularly. The landlord raises the rent regularly. The real reason we wrote will be revealed later. The real reason we wrote will be revealed later. Okay, now I'm going to break them down, okay? So if you need to sign off, go ahead, but be sure to like and subscribe. Alrighty, and comment too. I'd love to hear your comments or see your comments, alright? Alright, let's go back here. Northern white rhinos are rarely seen. This is northern. Nor, nor, thern. So we have an or and an er. Northern. 
This is the voiced TH sound, okay? White, white, and we don't pronounce that H, okay? Rhinos, this H is not pronounced either, as a matter of fact. Rhinos, northern white rhinos are rarely seen. Northern white rhinos are rarely seen. <laughs> okay? All right, next one. I hardly, this is R, hard, hardly. I hardly ever carry a camera. And in this word, we don't pronounce that E, usually. Camera. Hardly ever carry camera. Okay? I hardly ever carry a camera. Be sure, so this um, S here, S-U, is making a sh sound. Sure, be sure to arrive early on Thursday. Thursday, okay? Er, thur, Thursday. Be sure to arrive early on Thursday. The landlord raises the rent regularly. This is landlord, but I'm not pronouncing that D, I know, when I say it, um, landlord. But it, it probably should be, but I, I'm not. Landlord raises, okay, that's lord or lord, raises rent regularly. This GU is like a, a G and then a like a ya ya reg ya rarely. Actually that would be a J. Okay, so regularly. Okay. The landlord raises the rent regularly. And the last one, the real real reason we wrote, we don't pronounce this W, so it's as if it's starting with the R, wrote, will be revealed, revealed later. And I'm making this T a, a D, a flat. It sounds like a D, later. The real reason we wrote will be revealed later. That's the end of today's lesson. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel so that you'll see my other videos. I intend to make more videos about um, these sounds that I've been talking about today and I have a playlist of videos where you can just practice words. So I have lots of videos to offer you. So please subscribe, please take a look at my other videos, and please like this video. And also, please comment. I love to see your comments. Thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye.